Lost Property A Story by Joy Cowley Illustrations by Peter Stevenson Once, there was a man called Floyd who lived in the underground at the tube station. He looked after the lost property office. People came to Floyd to find the things they'd left on trains. At night, when the station was closed, Floyd slept in the room at the back of the office. Floyd liked living in the underground. It had been a long time since he'd gone to the city upstairs. These days, all that he saw of the city were pictures of it in magazines and books which people left on trains. All sorts of things found their way to Floyd's office. He had a big collection of hats and sunglasses and umbrellas as well as shopping bags and briefcases, coats and shoes, toys and balloons, a parrot in a cage, a banana tree, and a lion suit with whiskers and claws. One morning, a man got off a train and walked right up to Floyd. Do you know who I am? he asked. No, said Floyd. What? cried the man. You mean you can't tell me who I am? If you don't know, I don't know, said Floyd. But no problem. This is a lost property office. If you've lost your name, I'll help you to find it. The man got angry. He shouted. Floyd, I'm your brother! Floyd looked closer. Well, so it is, my own brother Jerry. Jerry was still angry. You've been down here too long. You've clean forgotten all about me. I'm your only brother, your only family. Floyd, I've come to take you home. But this is my home, Jerry, said Floyd. No, it isn't, said Jerry. What kind of home is underground? You don't ever see trees or stars. I like people better than trees and stars, and I talk to lots of people down here, said Floyd. Well, I'm people too, said Jerry, and I say each time you came home. No, said Floyd. All right, said Jerry. Let's have a compromise. What's a compromise? asked Floyd. It means we talk, answered Jerry. I give a little, you give a little, and we work something out, which suits both of us. No, said Floyd. Jerry got angry again. Maybe you're in the right place. You're lost to the world. You're lost to your brother. Floyd, you're a lost man in an office of lost things. Floyd said, I'm sick of this. I'm going for a walk. Jerry, when I come back, you'd better be gone. For a long time, Floyd walked up and down the tube station looking at shops and trains. At last, he went back to the lost property office. He saw a new strange thing. People were running in all directions. Floyd looked in the office. There was no sign of Jerry. But beside the banana tree, there was a large line with whiskers and claws. Floyd said, Jerry, you stop fooling around. Do you hear? You're scaring people. Take that lion suit off this minute. The lion roared. <laughs> Floyd grabbed the lion's tail. Are you going to take that suit off or am I going to pull it off? Floyd, I'm up here, someone called, and there was Jerry crouched on top of the cupboard. Floyd looked at Jerry, then he looked at the lion. The lion roared. <coughs> Quick as a wink, Floyd was up on the cupboard beside his brother. Where did it come from? he asked. It must have got out of the zoo, said Jerry. We'll have to wait up here until they come to get it. Then Jerry smiled. Hey Floyd, if you're not going anywhere, we can talk. What about, said Floyd. Compromise, said Jerry. By the time the zoo people had come for the lion, Floyd and Jerry had everything worked out. During the day, they would both work in the tube station at the lost property office. At night, they'd go upstairs to the city and walk home under the trees and stars. 
Now I know what a compromise is, said Floyd. It's having the best of both worlds. <laughs> Hi, if you like this video, please give this a like and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video.